Well, uh, commiserations, Gary. I imagine not too many complaints about tonight, but you must be proud overall with the performance. Yeah, I think that uh, you'll see what a quality side Grimsby are. There's no doubt about that. They came here this evening and uh, the first 25, 30 minutes of the first half, the Grimsby players moved the ball around very, very well. They had a lot of quality uh, throughout their side and uh, they were always a yard quicker than us. They looked very, very fresh, and they looked a quality side. And to be honest with you, John, we were very, very lucky only to be one nil down. We were struggling to uh, contain them at that time in respect, or trying to uh, contain them in respect that they were one nil to the good. But we had to change our formation, George, around really because they were they were over stretching us and over the workers. But you know, we seem to uh, hang in there and get to half time one nil down. We looked a little bit more solid, as I say, when we changed it around a little bit. But a little bit similar to Saturday, really, John. That you know, we were under uh, pressure, and Grimsby had chances, probably very similar to Forest Green did uh, on Saturday in the first half, but only found ourselves one 0 down. But you know, we had a chat half time, and you know, we certainly got uh, amongst them, and we were a lot quicker, and we were a lot more uh, in control of our game, and kept the ball a lot better in the start of the second half. We were, without doubt, the better side, John, for a 15-minute period. Um, and to be honest with you, the crowd were getting behind us. We were getting back in the game, and they really caught us really with their first counter attack in the second half, and uh, they punished us again. Um, and at two 0 John, that when you've had such a evening of chasing the ball against a very good side, a lot of teams could have well, you know, melted and lost their discipline. But all credit to the players, I thought they showed a great deal of character. We made a couple of changes at that time to try and get a foothold and get back in the game. And uh, Joey Jones came on and Jez Soul came on. And no disrespect to Matt Butcher or Danny Carl, we had to make changes to see what would happen. But all of a sudden, it gave us a little bit of freshness. There was a situation where we started gaining a lot more of possession. We made the pitch a lot bigger. Jake Caprice was setting some great balls in on the right-hand side into areas where we were asking questions. And we deservedly got a goal back, John. We deservedly got a goal back, and at 2-1 there, just before we scored, and for another 10 or 5 minute period after, there was 3 or 4 chances on another day, they go for you, and we'd have got the equaliser, and we were very much on top, but wasn't to be, and of course again, and it's a wonderful strike, and the lad's got, he's got an hat-trick here tonight, John, and I thought we had two at first, but he's got an an hat-trick of real clinical quality finishing, and... That's a, that's a thing we've had over the last couple of years, John. You know, when you look at Scott Rendell and you look at Jack Marriott and you look at Dan Holman, that we've had that quality up top which can relieve you of pressure or give you a chance to stay in matches at certain times. And, you know, we are thin up top, there's no secret about that, and we're playing a formation now which, in one way, it's tough for the forward, but... We've certainly been a lot more competitive over the last half a dozen games and uh, we've shown a great deal of commitment and character, which we expect. But, as I say, um, no complaints about the result in any way or form. They're a good side, John. I even said to Paul Hurst at the end that, you know, they've got a very, very good fan base. They've got a very, very good side and they've got a very, very good manager. And it's very, very important that Grinsby going into the Football League because over the last three years I've gone up to Grimsby three times on a Tuesday night and I don't want to go back there no more Tuesdays so I'm hoping that Grimsby make the playoffs into the Football League and Gary as you rightly say you, you must be proud of the players because they never let their heads drop and it was noticeable when you did make the change that you managed to get Jake Caprice and Bruno Andrade down the flanks, and, and they caused them one or two problems, didn't they? We done very well, John. We done very, very well in the second half. There's no doubt about it. We were the better side in the second half. We created more chances. We just a little bit unlucky. Some good balls went in there and didn't quite fall for us, and uh, got a deflection, and one or two things were going against us. We were in the game, John. We were in the game in a big way at two-one. There's no doubt about that, and we showed a great deal of character. But you know, we've got beaten tonight. Not disgraced against a very good side because what I was very pleased about was one, the reaction from the players in the second half, and two, the reaction of the supporters at the end. You know, they stayed there and applauded the team off because they knew that they, for a long period, got a football education this evening against a quality side, but then they saw them dig in, have periods of the second half, 
played some good football, got some good quality crosses in, and another day you get the break. So, you know, people don't mind down here. I've learned that people don't mind down here and can accept um, results when they don't go your way. As long as that show of commitment and workmanship amongst the team is out there, and we had that tonight. And, Gary, for any neutrals watching, it was an excellent game, wasn't it? Both teams tried to play football. Both teams kept it on the deck. Both teams tried to move it and, and played the game the right way. Yeah, John, I'm, 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 I'm upbeat this evening because I've seen things, as I say, which, you know, there's no secret, John. We've, we've, we've had a tough time. But, you know, over the last half a dozen games now, look, you know, we might have won one of those games and drew three of them, but we've been a lot more competitive. But there have been signs that the football's been improving, and we've shown that tonight. And certainly in the second half, as I say, we showed a great deal of uh, quality the way we were attacking. And as I say, against a team who might not have the quality of Grinsby, we might have got something out of it. And next up is Lincoln, a team really who haven't got anything to play for other than pride, but it's still a difficult place to go always. Always a difficult place to go. And, you know, there's two games to go for us and two games to go for them. And, you know, we've got to be, you know, making a trip up there, determined to get that result. And that's what we want to try and do. It's going to be tough. But, as I say, there was a lot of uh, encouragers and positive signs at the Forest Green game and at the Greensburg game to look forward to the game at Lincoln. Lovely. Thank you very much, Gary. Safe journey home. Good job. Lovely.